Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back. Mason Greenwood backed for Man Ut second chance after return decision agreed. Manchester United have been urged to hand Mason Greenwood a second chance next season once he completes his season-long loan at Getaf. Former Red Devils winger Ian Story Moore has backed Greenwood to resume his career at Old Trafford despite the club's sudden U-turn in the summer. In February, the Crown Prosecution Service dropped charges of attempted rape, assault and controlling and coercive behavior against the 22-year-old forward, which he consistently denied. Following a six-month internal inquiry into his 2022 arrest, The Athletic reported that United Chief Executive Richard Arnold had informed staff of plans to reintegrate Greenwood. Football director John Murto and manager Eric Ten Hag reportedly supported the stance. However, staff threatening to strike an external criticism is claimed to have prompted a late U-turn. It led to Greenwood joining La Liga side Getafe on loan until next summer, by which point he will still have one year left on his United contract. The former United No. 11 is enjoying life in Spain and is gradually rediscovering the scoring touch that made him one of Europe's most exciting young attackers after his 2019 senior breakthrough. United's stance reportedly remains the same. They don't expect Greenwood to represent the club again at the end of his loan at Getafe and beyond. However, Story Moore believes he should remain at Old Trafford next season to add much-needed firepower to Ten Hag's misfiring, attacking regiment. Everybody deserves a second chance. He has served his time, so to speak, and they should possibly let him back in next season, Story Moore told Express Sport. He's an asset, isn't he? I think he's better than what they've got when he's at his best, absolutely. Marcus Rashford's strike in a 3-1 defeat at Arsenal in September remains the only Premier League goal scored by a United forward this season. Ten Hag's side have scored just 13 goals in 12 league outings this term, a measly tally only six teams have failed to match. Rashford is out of sorts. Anthony continues to underwhelm and Jaden Sancho remains banished after effectively calling Ten Hag a liar on social media earlier in the season. Greenwood would no doubt boost the Dutchman's attacking options. But United's incoming Ineos regime would face the same internal and external resistance if they attempted to sanction his return next year. Jaden Sancho makes final decision on man odd exit plan after Sir Jim Ratcliffe steps in. Manchester United forward Jaden Sancho is unlikely to entertain transfer interest from Saudi Arabia, but it's still possible he could be sold once Sir Jim Ratcliffe takes charge. Manchester United outcast Jaden Sancho will not agree to join a club in Saudi Arabia once the transfer window reopens in January. The England winger, 23, has not made a single appearance for United since he called Eric Ten Hag out on social media after the Dutchman claimed Sancho had been omitted from the matchday squad against Arsenal in early September due to poor training performances. Ten Hag has subsequently banished Sancho from all first-team facilities following reports that the player was unwilling to apologize after the incident. And while it's expected both parties will try to move Sancho on in the new year, Sancho has no designs on entertaining interest from the Middle East. A new report from The Telegraph has outlined that Sancho is being targeted by his former club Borussia Dortmund and Juventus, while there is also interest from Saudi Arabia. His preference, though, is to continue his career in Europe rather than joining the Saudi Pro League. Sancho was the subject of interest from Saudi Arabia in the latter stages of the summer transfer window, but did not pursue a move. And it seems as though that stance has not softened even in light of his current situation at Old Trafford. Resolving the ongoing feud between Sancho and Ten Hag is likely to be a priority for Sir Jim Ratcliffe once his 1.3 billion proposal for a 25% stack in the club is ratified in the coming days. The Ineos chiefest likely to entertain the idi of ostracizing a player how cost Manchester United a sum in excess of 73 million just two years ago and reports 
have already claimed he will attempt to make Ten Hag and Sancho resolve their differences. While Ratcliffe may be keen to end their rift, it seems unlikely there will be any way back at Old Trafford for a player who has struggled to live up to expectations while Ten Hag remains in his post. It remains to be seen how much of the 73 ba meters fee United would recoup if they did sell Sancho in January. His stock has fallen drastically since his blockbuster transfer in the summer of 2021, which came courtesy of a dazzling four-year stint in the Bundesliga. Senior man, UTD players blaming Eric Ten Hag's intense preseason for disappointing Premier League start as injuries stack up for Red Devils, several senior Manchester United players believe Eric Ten. Hag's intense preseason training schedule is a major reason for the team's poor start. What happened? United have endured a difficult start to the new campaign, which has been compounded by the loss to injury of a host of key players. Ten Hag was left without two-thirds of his first-team squad earlier this season and has seen key players, including Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro and Luke Shaw, sidelined for long spells. Marcus Rashford, Andre Onana, Christian Eriksen and Rasmus Hoylund have added to United's injury problems over the international break. The Bigger Picture there is a feeling within some members of the first team squad that United's injury problems have been caused by an intense preseason training regime, according to The Guardian. The Red Devils played eight friendlies and took in a 12-day trip to the United States over the summer that left players feeling overworked. Senior stars have complained about feeling as tired at the start of the season as they did at the end of the last campaign. United have been beaten five times already in the Premier League and sit bottom of their Champions League group with one win from four games. Did you know? United have lost as many as nine of their opening 17 matches of a season in all competitions for the first time since 1973-74, which was the last season they were relegated. What next for Man UTD? Ten Hag is sweating on the fitness of several players ahead of United's clash against Everton on Sunday. Onana pulled out of international duty with a pelvic injury and is a doubt for the game, while Hoyland and Eriksen could also miss the trip to Goodison Park. Rashford's fitness is also an area for concern after he picked up a problem on England duty after a clash with Trent Alexander-Arnold.